My name is Addie, and I decided to make this video to show my new set of Himalayan singing bowls that I bought. They're um, hand hammered metal bowls from the Himalayas. Actually, they're usually from Nepal. Um, but each one is tuned to one of the seven chakras and each bowl on the inside has the symbol of the chakra. I know you can't see it right here from this vantage point, but each one has one inside. Each bowl came with a mallet. The smaller bowls came with the smaller mallet and then bigger bowls have this mallet that's suede wrapped on one side and wooden on the other. Um, you can see I've got Marshmallow here because she loves singing bowls. Um, I have one that's not part of the set and a lot of times when I play it, Marshmallow, uh, <laughs> whoops, that was a little bit of a Marshmallow earthquake. Hopefully she didn't scare her. Hopefully she'll be back. But, um, I have one that's not part of the set a lot of times when I play it, she just sticks her, I'll tap the bowl and she just sticks her head in it. So it's so funny. But anyway, kitty, kitty, kitty. Let's come over here. Let's not tip over the camera. That's a good kitty. Okay, we're not rubbing her stomach because she's like in this very playful mood. And I actually had to start this video over because she was playing with my hand and arm too much and kind of scratching me. So that got out of hand. But anyway, the singing bowls, there's a couple of different ways to play them. One way to play them is simply to strike them with the mallet. And each bowl is tuned to a different frequency um, to go with each chakra. And so the biggest one goes with the root chakra and then the sacral and the solar plexus. Heart. Throat. third eye, and crown. And so these can be used for sound healing and they also can just be used for fun to play them. Um, and so we'll see if we can calm the kitty down. And so I mentioned that playing, um, you can play them by striking them. You can also play them by circling the bowl and then they begin to sing. And so, hence the name singing bowls. And so I'll go ahead and use the larger mallet with the suede edge and I begin, I'm holding it just like this with my fingers pointed down and then I just begin to circle the bowl. And it begins to sing. You can continue to circle it, or you can go back and forth on the bowl. I prefer to circle it.
Yeah, this is sacral chakra. Um, sometimes you can use a combination of tapping and circling the bowls to play them. And that helps to get the sound started. So you can tap and then begin to circle. You can also, these little bowls you can hold in your hand, you just place in the palm of your non-dominant hand. And in my case, I've got some rings on, so I've gotta be careful that the rings are not touching the bowl. And you can play it right on your hand. This one's the heart chakra. And sometimes when the bowls are used for sound healing, they're actually placed, the person is lying down and they're actually placed on the area of the body so that the vibration goes um, right into that chakra to help to balance it. So anyway, they're fun. I'm learning about them. They came in this set that I was really happy with. Um, I was a little worried. There were some reviews and people were unhappy with them, but other people really liked them. So I took the chance and ordered them and I was really happy with them. So there you go. They came um, in this little zippered cylinder where you can store them. Um, each one has a little plastic bag that they go in. And um, like I said, each one came with its own mallet. When I'm playing them, I really only need two of the mallets at the same time. But I suppose if you had a group of people and different people had different bowls, each bowl would need its own mallet. But the bowls stack um, one and the other inside this little zippered, it's a cloth box, it's really cool. And I can't say that I'm unhappy that it's purple. That's what color just happened to be with the gold design. And then I forgot to mention, each one also has a cloth ring that it sets on because you can't play it directly onto a hard surface. And so it sets on the ring, or of course, like I mentioned, you can hold it in your hand, which actually is my favorite way to play them. I feel like there's more connection with the bowl and I have an easier time getting it started. So, I think I'll finish up this video. I'll end it with a little sand bath. And so if you'd like to participate, just find a place where you can settle in. Maybe you're seated upright, maybe you're lying down. Tuning into the breath. Inhales and exhales through the nose. Allowing the breath to deepen and the eyes to close.
Continue to enjoy your peace and your quiet as you breathe. When you are ready to awaken, begin wiggling your fingers and toes, circling the wrists and the ankles, inhaling the arms overhead into a good morning stretch. And on an exhale, drawing those knees into the chest. Rolling onto the right side, using your bicep as a pillow. And staying there for a few more breaths until you're ready to rise, pressing in with the palms and letting the head arrive last. So I hope you enjoyed my first sound bath. Until next time, namaste.